Good morning, friends. Welcome to another reading vlog. Ha, ha. We're getting off to a chaotic start. Anyway, um, just thought I would take you along with me this weekend. I haven't really been in a filming mood, so there might not be an upload on Monday, but I do want to vlog this weekend because, I don't know, I just, I find the energy that it takes for me to vlog and the energy it takes for me to do like a whole sit down video is like totally different. Anyway, the point is <laughs> we're gonna vlog um, this weekend. The theme of this weekend is going to be self care. I feel like I've just been in a really bad like funk recently. Um, and so this weekend we're just gonna, we're just gonna do whatever the heart wants, you know? Um, but anyway, last night, because I was in such a funk, um, I started rereading um, Vicious Spirits, um, and I'm about a quarter of the way through the book now, and I am loving it so far. But I also woke up this morning, I do have sprints in about 20 minutes or so. Um, I woke up this morning and I do kind of want to read one of my two arcs that I have to read um, that are on my TBR. I realized like I haven't made a dent in my February TBR at all. I'm about 60% of the way through The Unbroken and about 40% of the way through She Who Became the Sun. So I'm probably going to focus on getting um, The Unbroken done also because the ebook version, like the EPUB version, um, expires in like a week so I really should finish that so that I can um yeah so that I can at least have notes and everything um I do have it still on my iPad like on Kindle on the Kindle app but um I don't like reading on my iPad so anyway so the two books that I'm going to be focusing on this weekend are Vicious Spirits which is a reread you all know this if you haven't watched my favorites of 2020 yet this is my favorite YA book of 2020 um so this is just like a comfort reread for me at this point and then yeah the Unbroken. I don't really have too much to update on that. Um, I am making notes. I am planning on doing a dedicated review to The Unbroken. Um, I haven't decided if it's going to be before it comes out or after when I, because I pre-ordered the book, so I don't know if it's going to be after when I'm, I'm able to like go through and annotate um, and then do a full review. But so far, I'm really loving it. The themes that C.L. Clark touches on are so, so good. And they're executed quite well, I feel. So I really, really want to do a dedicated review on The Unbroken. In terms of audiobook, I'm listening to Rune of Kings on audio right now by Jen Lyons. I would tell you what it's about, but I have no idea. Um, I'm about 100 pages into it, and I still have no idea what's going on. <laughs> um, and yeah, Katie from Brightness Katie Reads is hosting a readathon um, in February to read the book. Um, the live show is going to be on March 6th, I believe. Um, so I just wanted to get a head start on that. So far, I don't know if I'm liking the audiobook. Like, I don't know if it's the combination of like, I don't really know what's going on in the story. Um, there's really like not much happening. And I don't know, I don't, I don't particularly have a problem with books that are confusing and like, you don't know what's going on as long as it keeps you gripped. And so far, I just don't feel like I'm being gripped like at the end of a chapter I'm like cool okay whatever um I also think partially the audiobook is perhaps affecting my enjoyment because I don't really like the audiobook narrators um I find them to be a little bit over the top one of the male narrators is just like for the footnote so like he's fine whatever the other male narrator is fine for the most part until he puts on weird character voices and then he becomes really irritating. Um, and then, like I said, the female narrator, I also find her really over over the top and I just, it's not my preference for audiobook for narrators to be very over the top and dramatic in their readings. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna power through <laughs> um, and continue listening. I am going to my parents tomorrow, which will be exciting because I haven't seen my parents. I haven't seen another human being in over a month now. So that'll be nice. Um, anyway, that was just my quick little intro check-in to let you know what I'm reading this weekend. I should probably get ready for my sprints. Um, but yeah, I will check in probably after sprints and let you know what I end up reading, where I get to, all that kind of fun stuff. But yeah, self-care weekend, let's go. Hello friends, quick check-in. One day I promise I will check in from somewhere other than this exact spot on my couch, but you know, today's not that day. Um, quick update on what I've read today. I read, I don't even know where my e-reader went, but I read about 8% of the Unbroken during my sprints. I did the Unbroken for two out of the first two sprints. Um, and then I moved on to um, Vicious Spirits. Um, and I actually read um, about 70 pages of that during the second two sprints. Um, 
and I'm about halfway through the book now. Um, I'm going to keep reading this tonight. I actually just did my dishes, so I listened to my audiobook for a bit for Rune of Kings, and I have thoughts. Um, I'm, I'm a little... <laughs> I'm a little confused because, to be honest, um, I really, really want to love this book because all of my friends really love it. Katie obviously loves it a lot. Um, and Rue and Sophia really liked it as well. Sophia, I think, put it in her best books of 2020. I'm about 132 pages in. And so far, my, my impressions of this book are, if you didn't tell me a woman wrote it, I would have thought a straight white man wrote it. In my opinion, there's a lot of unnecessary, like, not sexual violence as such, but like unnecessary sexualization of women uh so far and uh, I kind of want to give the author the benefit of the doubt because I do know that in the second and the third book um different sexualities are explored um and there's like ace rep and like there's polyamory and stuff like that so I do want to give the author the benefit of the doubt that she ends up subverting some of the stuff she's doing right now but so far 130 pages in I'm not impressed there's also something to be said for and I said this in my shot my stash uh, vlog where I read Fellowship of the Ring and maybe I am just more sensitive to it right now just because I d did just read that and I read a whole bunch of essays as well uh, talking about this but kind of the kind of racist undertones that come with uh, developing fantasy races and assigning certain traits to certain races um, which Jen Lyons does do in this book um, and I, I am I again I do admit that I'm probably a little bit more sensitive to it right now after just because I read so many essays about it and articles about it. And like, I went deep into the Reddit threads, like, it, it was a whole thing. But because I read all those things, it just kind of makes me see things in a different light. That being said, of course, this is the first in kind of a longer series. Obviously, this book itself is like 700 pages long, and I'm only, you know, 100 and something odd pages into it. Um, I'm only about just under 20% of the way through the book. Um, so maybe Jen Lyons subverts it. I know obviously um, Stormlight Archive does a similar thing where it has like that fantasy race kind of situation, um, but he does end up subverting that, which was kind of interesting to see. Um, but so far, unimpressed, unimpressed. Um, but I'm going to power through because I do want to partake in the live show on the 6th. So I'm going to at least finish the first book. That's kind of my goal. I would, in all honesty, like if it weren't for the live show, if it weren't for the fact that all of my friends love this book and I have similar tastes to at least Sophia, like Sophia and I have very similar tastes. So I am holding out hope for this book, but we shall see. But yeah, if it weren't for that, I might have DNF'd it as, at this point. I am also less likely to DNF a book that I paid hard-earned cash for and I did pay money for this uh granted it was seven dollars but I don't whatever it's fine I paid cash for this so I want it to be good so I might read this on the drive over to my parents tomorrow or I might pick up a non-fiction it's been a while since I've picked up a non-fiction so um I will see that being said all the non-fiction I tend to pick up tend to be quite hard-hitting ones um those are just the non-fictions that I personally enjoy. <laughs> um, but uh, I am a little kind of, I'm a little down already. I don't feel like that's the best idea for me right now. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go wind down. It is now like 10 o'clock ish. I'm gonna go wind down. I'm gonna continue reading Vicious Spirits. Um, I'm hoping to finish it this weekend. It's a pretty fast read. Like I said, like, I read this for two sprints, and I read like 70 pages in just under an hour. Um, so I'm pretty sure if I just like read this for the rest of the night, I could probably finish this if I wanted to. I'm loving this on reread. Uh, I, I knew I would love it, but like, it's just so good. Like, not only do I love the romance in this, but like the friendships, the found family vibes, I, they're immaculate. They're the best. I love the friendship between Myung and so men like their friendship is so freaking cute there's one line that i just freaking love and it's one of the moments where myung and so men like bond together um and myung's explaining why like the umbrella is like important to her in like jihoon's relationship and how like he's her umbrella she says like even in the strongest of downpours he keeps me dry and warm i know that with him i'm safe and then so men's like makes me want to find my umbrella one day and <laughs> And Myung says, you don't need an umbrella. You need someone who'll stand in the rain with you and face the storm. And it's giving me, you know what vibes it gives me? It gives me like Christina and 
what's her name? Meredith Grey vibes. For, if you watch Grey's Anatomy, the whole like, um, he's not the son, you are. Like that's the vibes it gives me and it just, it makes me so soft. I love them. I love them so much. Anyway, <laughs> that was me gushing about this book. I actually, I, I love this book so much. Like it's so cheesy. It's so incredibly cheesy. I don't know how Cat Cho makes me like these tropes that I normally hate. I love them so much. I love this book so much. But yeah, I've I've babbled on long enough. Um, I will check in with you guys tomorrow morning, let you know what I will be reading on audio in the car on the way over, um, as well as like how far I get with Vicious Spirits. Hello friends, good morning. Um, I thought I would do a quick little check-in. Um, I'm off to my parents' house in about 10-15 minutes for lunch. Um, and yeah, we're gonna do a little not like Chinese New Year per se, because that's next Friday, but like usually for Chinese New Year, we do a dinner um, on New Year's Eve, which obviously I won't be doing because it's a work night and I don't like driving at night. So um, we're not doing that this year, but we're going to celebrate early. We're going to do a little lunch kind of situation. Um, and I'm going to cut my hair. Uh, <laughs> so this is probably the last time you'll see this bullshit on my head. I'm probably shaving it. I will try to film it, but my mom is doing it for me, so I don't know if she's comfortable being on camera, so um, I might not be able to film it in all honesty. Um, but um, yeah, this hair is all going. I'm just like, just over having hair. There's just so much hair everywhere. There's like cat hair everywhere. And I just like, I don't need my own hair too, you know? I just shed it incessantly. Anyway, in terms of what I read last night, honestly nothing. I read you know, 20 pages more of Vicious Spirits. I'm still trying to maybe finish it tonight. In terms of audiobook, I just decided I'm gonna power through with Rune of Kings um, and see how that goes. Um, and yeah, I will keep you posted. I'll do a check-in later, let you know where I get to in Rune of Kings and also to show you what happens with this mop. We'll see. Hello friends! Quick check-in. This is my hair now. <laughs> my mom was like, are you sure you want to go this short? And I was just like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. If I hate it, at least I don't have to see people right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do feel a bit better. Like I put on a bit of makeup because I was like, I truly looked a little tragic to be honest without makeup. But put a little bit on. I feel a little bit better now. Um, I did listen to quite a bit of... Um, Rune of Kings while I was in the car. I listened to about the equivalent of about 100 pages or so. I still don't really know what's going on in this book, to be honest. Like, stuff is happening, but like, so like this story, the way that it's told is you follow one main character, his name is Kieran, um, and you follow him at like two different points in his life, at 16 and also at 15. The 16 year old story is told by him, and then the 15 year old story is told by another character. Um, I don't know if I like love the storytelling format in a really weird way. The way that it's written and the way that it's told and the tone and everything kind of reminds me of Name of the Wind a little bit. Um, I don't know why. I think it's the tone of the of the of the, like the writing. Uh, I don't I don't know if I love it. Um, you guys know I love non-linear storytelling but I don't feel like so far anyway like I, obviously with non-linear storytelling you do have to wait for the point at which it pays off and so far though I don't know if this is the best style that I've experienced I'm gonna power through still um I think again the audiobook is awful like I really don't like the audiobook at all that being said if I didn't have the audiobook would I be reading this probably not so I do need the audiobook to help me get through this yeah there is a dragon involved though um we did get a dragon so that was kind of cool um but that's really about it for that um for the rest of today it is currently about 4 p.m um I do have to cook dinner I'm probably gonna start dinner soon ish to be honest um I'm making like a chicken pot pie soup kind of situation um which is like just I just needed comfort food. I originally wanted to try making chicken and dumplings, but like with pre-made biscuit dough, but we didn't have that in our store. So that's not happening. Basically, I'm making my chicken pot pie filling, but just to have a soup. 
that's that's but that's basically what I'm doing but I'm gonna be reading vicious spirits for the rest of the day today um I might also pop on like a Ghibli film or something I might pop on whispers of the heart um because that's my favorite um I love that movie so much if you haven't watched it um please do I actually I did a um Fav like top seven Ghibli films um like ranked uh at some point it was w a while ago it was like pretty early on in my channel I did that video um but Whisper of the Heart is my favorite Ghibli film of all time I've watched it so many times I watch it like at, at least once a year um and I act like I actually love that movie so much I actually started learning violin because of that movie and I, to this day I still play violin so like I just that movie just means so much to me and I just really really love it so I might rewatch that just for like a little bit of comfort um but yeah so far I mean to be honest like I feel like this weekend has been good like this has been like 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 I said at the beginning of the weekend, this has been like a self-care weekend and I feel like so far anyway, I definitely feel a lot more rejuvenated. I also didn't film this weekend um, just to give myself a full break, um, which I definitely think helped um, a lot. Uh, so I definitely feel a lot more refreshed this weekend compared to normal weekends. So anyway, um, I will check in a little bit later. Hopefully, I'm hoping to finish Vicious Spirits today. I am on page 216 so I have just under 200 pages left to go um and it's a really fast read so I'm really hopeful that I can finish this today mm, I'm just I just love it I'm gonna pop on some um k-drama OSTs and then <laughs> read this I just feel like that's the perfect vibe for this book so that's what I'm gonna do um and I will check in either later tonight or I will check in uh tomorrow morning Hello friends! Happy Monday! It's currently like 10 30 p.m. now. I just took a shower and can I just say it feels so good to like take a shower and not have to worry about what time of night it is because I don't have to worry about like when my hair will dry. My hair is like literally instantly dry which is pretty awesome. Um, but anyway, I wanted to check in because um, I just finished, before I took a shower, I just finished um, Vicious Spirits. Um, I uh, I actually didn't end up reading like anything yesterday. Um, I started watching Bling Empire on Netflix and it was awful. It was honestly awful. If you don't know what it is, it's a reality TV show along the lines of like Selling Sunset, if you've seen um, any of the Netflix ones, so like Selling Sunset, Singapore Social, which is kind of like Real Housewives-esque. And it's awful. It's awful. I started watching it episode one and I was like, this is not the representation I wanted. This is not the representation I asked for. I do not want this. And yet I watched the whole thing. I just, I couldn't stop watching. It was a train wreck. It was a freaking train wreck. And I also sobbed throughout it. Cause like they actually touch on some like pretty, pretty hard hitting like family, <laughs> family relationships and stuff. And I was like, Oh, I was not, I was not prepared for this. Anyway. So I spent like all of last night watching that. And then after work, I finished that off. Um, I had three episodes left, so I finished that off <laughs> after work. And then I went and finished Vicious Spirits off. I gave it five stars again. I just, I love that book so much. I really went into it being like, I know all the things that are gonna happen. I'm not gonna be upset this time, or not, I'm not gonna be as upset. I'm not gonna cry. And I sobbed, I sobbed. There's one scene at the end that just really gets me. I just love the friendships. Like, Myung and Soman's friendship is truly like the best thing that has ever happened to me. Like, I love them so much. Like, they, she easily could have gone the whole like love triangle route, like with the new girl and like the childhood best friend, like that classic love triangle trope, but she didn't and she made them best friends instead. And not only, like, they weren't even like fast friends or like instant friends or anything, like, they really had to work for their friendship, which makes me so freaking happy. Anyway, I just, I love that book so much. Um, but yeah, the night is still pretty early. I'm not like sleepy yet. So I'm probably going to be reading The Unbroken tonight. I'm about two thirds of the way through the book now. So I'm pretty confident that I can finish it in the next couple of days. And I'm really excited. It's really picking up. Um, and yeah, I'm probably going to be doing a full length review on that, but stay tuned. I have not really been in the mood to like do sit, do sit down videos in a while. So I, I do apologize for that, but that will be coming. And yeah, if you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. That is it for this weekend and this vlog. Um, hopefully you had a fun time following me around, you know, having my little like self care weekend, highly recommended to anyone. I definitely felt like a lot more refreshed, um, coming out of the weekend than I normally do. So I highly recommend. But yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know um, what your favorite self-care thing to do is, um, or just leave me a 
purple heart emoji. Um, and if you like this video and you want to see more from me, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notifications. Um, I upload every Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. EST, and I also host weekly reading sprints at 11 a.m. EST. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.